A DARPA drone! This is no ordinary dragonfly. It got its spy wings in the 1970s after the CIA's Office of Research and Development created Insect Adopter. And even though it was never operational, it's still one of our favorite artifacts to share. The dragonfly was selected for this program after the bumblebee turned out to not work quite so well. Does that look like an insect to you, or does that look like a drone? This dragonfly was intended to be a listening device. It had a small engine that would make its wings flap up and down, and it was directed and guided by a biometallic strip on the back and a laser beam. It could actually fly 200 meters in 60 seconds. This data link actually back here with the laser was how we were able to intercept the sound that it was picking up. Six hours before my ladybug protest at the federal building. The CIA Dragonfly ultimately proved not to be operational because in crosswinds over five miles an hour, it just was taken off of its trajectory. But it stimulated further research into using UAVs, which this was the smallest of its kind at this point in history. here at the uh, federal building in San Diego. The federal building, the federal government itself. How you doing, gentlemen? Um, I'm actually here uh, for a redress of my grievances. I want a redress of my grievances, and uh, why don't you guys to stop bugging me? Stop bugging me, please! Stop bugging me! Stop bugging me! Thank you! You guys stop bugging me! Please, now you have a thousand ladybugs in your lobby. What happens now? I don't know. You don't know? Am I not breaking the law? I gotta leave? That's it? All ladybugs? You gonna let me go? Well, I was hoping to get arrested, but. All right. I seek a redress of my grievances. Dude, that's a DARPA. That's a drone. Oh yeah, you can see it's a drone. I'm sorry, man. That's a drone. That's not a bug. That's a drone. If it was a bug, he would have flown away, and he wouldn't have I don't know metallic features. What the actual hell, man? Can we all agree that this thing that won't get off my sleeping bag, which has physical heavy weight, I can feel the weight of it? You're gonna tell me that's not a fucking drone? He won't, he just, he won't get off my sleeping bag, first of all. Why wouldn't he not flow, fly away? What the fuck, dude? Holy shit. Now what do I fucking do? That's not a fucking drone. Dude, that's a DARPA thing right there. I'm gonna have to fight that. Oh my fucking god, it's on my thingy. It just flew in, dude. He insists on being on my sleeping bag. Clinging to it. Why would he not fly away to- A bug would fly away in self-defense. He's like, oh, I, I see you're attacking me, but I'm gonna clamp onto your sleeping bag really, really hard. Instead of flying away like a normal bug would. Cause I'm a DARPA drone. Do you see it? I can't even see the screen very well. So if I'm getting it blurry, I'm sorry. But he's attached himself onto my, holy shit. <laughs> That is a DARPA fucking drone, and I'm trying to get my hand that close to it. And now he's literally hiding himself in the leaves. So instead of trying to get away like a normal creature does, this guy methodically just walks like a fucking robot over into that pile of leaves. Is that how insects usually...
Is that how insects usually look to you? Does that look like an insect to you? Or does that look like a drone? This thing that flew in and latched onto my sleeping bag. This morning, six hours before my ladybug protest at the federal building. It's a fucking robot, man. So, I captured him. You guys missed the big protest at the federal building. No, there was, there was two, over a thousand of us there. Oh, it's over now, but you missed it. Aw. Uh -huh. She doesn't care. Well, there were a the thousand, I mean, 999 ladybugs and me. Stop bugging me, oh yeah. You're harassing me now with that camera following me around when I make my phone calls. He's so lucky.